Hello, this is Claire Carey. It's my first blog for the group um, Rita Wayne, Sandra Walker, and Claire Carey. Um, we'll start with Ottawa. As we were leaving Ottawa, it was amazing the number of people that showed up just for the three of us. It was a, almost an entourage um, between Sandy's family, my family, and Rita's family. Um, and we stayed and had a great uh, sort of visit. I guess the last uh, we would see them for approximately three weeks. Um, a great visit until it came time to say goodbye. Um, my children being nine and eleven, um, it was it was difficult to let go. It was that very difficult for my nine-year-old and my eleven-year-old was being very very strong until mommy was the one who held on just a little bit too long. So the tears were genuine that they were going to miss me as I was going to miss them. But uh, excitement across the board. Um, the flight to Montreal was fabulous. Um, Fortunately, I just um, was um, increased to the elite status, so we were able to actually go into the lounge and lounge prior to our flight to um, to Zurich, which was uh, fabulous again. Great flight, good food, free wine, which was fun. Um, the only problem with Swiss Air, if there's only if there's a problem that I could say, would be the fact that. Uh, Although you had a personal entertainment device in front of you, it was uh, impossible to know which movie it was going to choose for you and when it was going to stop and start another movie. So it was uh, it was entertaining in a different kind of a way for uh, both Rita, Sandy, and myself. Um, arriving in Zurich and getting on the flight to Nairobi was... Uh, Fatigue-filled, for lack of a better description, though exciting, as we kept saying to each other, I can't believe that we're we're actually doing this, that we've made this decision, and here we go. Um, the flight to Nairobi was fabulous again, with much-needed sleep on all three parts. Um, and arriving in Nairobi uh, was tension-filled, because we just didn't know what whether everyone was going to show up, whether our driver was going to show up, what happens if our luggage didn't show up. Um, unfortunately, everything worked like clockwork. We had all our forms filled out ready for the people in customs, and they just ushered us through with no problem. Um, bought our phone, and sure enough there, John showed up, John, our savior from uh, from Ben's group, to drive us to the hotel. Um, driving to the hotel, um, of course, we ran into Nairobi traffic. However, we uh, read a was the perfect Canadian um, and was unable to say no to the little boy that was selling. There were people selling stuff all through the roads as we were stuck, on, um, stuck in a traffic jam. And uh, Rita, being the perfect Canadian, had her window open and said, oh, no, 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 thank you. Um, no, I'm sorry. Sorry, please, no. Until John, our savior, says, Rita, close your window and look forward. <laughs> Which we stopped it all together. But uh, um, the, hotel was, uh, the hotel was beautiful, not what we were expecting. We were a little bit apprehensive as to exactly what it was going to be like being in, in Africa. Uh, just uh, exactly what we want, although their idea of a hot shower and my idea of a hot shower are a little bit different. Um, and we ventured off the next morning to uh, drive a little bit different than a lot of people to uh, from Nairobi to Kilimanjaro. And the first thing that I can tell you about the drive to Nairobi, uh, from Nairobi to Kilimanjaro or to Arusha is dusty, very dusty, very long, about eight hours, and very bumpy. Um, their idea of road construction is a um, beautiful highway. They seem to cut up and make it a, make a detour through very dusty and very dry land, which would come back onto a highway for a little bit, which, again, they would break up. So very difficult. Not sure if it's government um, dictated uh, as governments change when they change the road traffic, but uh, very long, not a lot of animals, quite hot and incredible. Incredibly dusty, incredibly dusty. Um, eight hours, as I say, as we made it through. But I have to tell you, when we made it a little bit closer across the border to Tanzania and looked up and saw Kilimanjaro rising from the clouds with the snow on top of it, awestruck, breathtaking, incredible. Knew exactly why we were going to come, although it was high and uh, it was a kind of higher than it was really there um, so I was very glad and very fortunate that we were here with our friends and our buddies to um, to take care so that'll be all for now and we'll let you know as we start tomorrow our trek up Kilimanjaro exactly what happens um, as we frantically pack our stuff and make sure that we have everything tonight um, and Ben and Shauna and the guides will make sure we have everything and we start the adventure tomorrow so Look forward to talking to you again. Bye-bye. Do I just hang up?